Hey, what's up, my beautiful weirdos? Kyle Determa here, and today I I was going to try to do some react videos. I still may, or game videos. I still may. I don't know, but I wanted to talk about something that I haven't really explained before because. I call myself Celtic Dreamer, and I've got a lot of, you know, Irish stuff on my channel, and yet I'm from the U.S. And I have had one person ask me, so what's up with that? And they were actually Irish, and they were good with my answer, but I'm like, you know what? I kind of think I need to talk about this. So... The reason I call myself Celtic Dreamer is, well, let's get the Dreamer part out of the way first because the Celtic part I could go on for days. So, Dreamer, I'm a dreamer. I dream of a better world. I write and say things that I hope will lead to change and a better tomorrow my overall goal like i'm one of those people who's like if i can't leave the world better off than when i came into it then my life will have been a complete failure regardless of what i do and that's just how i am so that's where the dreamer part comes in now for the celtic part on my father's side of the family, I am half Irish. And I've always been really, really close to that side of my family. I am literally my father's daughter. I take after him wholeheartedly. And I have always been insanely and I mean insanely proud of my Irish heritage. Not to say that I'm not also proud of my part German, Czech, and Polish heritage too. I just haven't felt the connection with those sides of my heritage the way that I have with my Irish heritage. And you can tell me that I'm crazy for feeling that way all you want, but that doesn't change the fact that I feel more drawn, like insanely drawn toward my Irish heritage as opposed to any other part of me. And it's not that I don't respect the other parts of my heritage. I do. I very much do. It's just... The Irish part of me calls to me, and I don't understand why, but I kind of have a feeling like I'm not supposed to understand. I'm just supposed to go with it. So, um, yeah. So, I want to show you a couple of things. Um, so my mother always had this in the house, and not entirely sure how the non-Irish parent got this in the divorce, our mom, but uh, she did end up giving it to me after some begging. But this, from what I know, and sorry that it's that it's wrinkled. That's that's my fault. It's been through a lot. It's gotten me through a lot. But this was from a trip as far as i know a trip that um my parents when they were still together before they had children went on with my grandparents when they were both still alive rest their souls they were literally the greatest grandparents ever like if there was ever such thing as perfect grandparents they would be it but anyway this map of Ireland and this is actually from Ireland like I've looked up 
the uh, um, name at the bottom of it. What is the name? Fingals or something. That company doesn't exist anymore, so you can't get this, like, as far as I know. But I think this was like late 70s, early 80s or something. It had to have been something like that because I was born in 84 and I know that they went there without me. I have not yet sadly been to Ireland, but that is my dream. Oh, that is my dream. But this, this is everything to me because this has been part of my family since before I was born and it's actually from Ireland and yes, I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, so brings me to my next thing. So everybody knows what a clatter ring is, right? Clutter ring is an Irish ring that can be used as a promise ring or an engagement ring or wedding ring, right? And I don't know how well you can see this. Let's see. Okay, you can see pretty well. Um, the uh, crown stands for, um, let's see, loyalty. The hands on the side stands for friendship. And the heart stands for love. And that, if that doesn't, like, scream everything that I stand for, then nothing fucking does. Because loyalty, love, and friendship go hand in hand, in my opinion, and are fucking everything to me. And so, yeah. Then, and I want to, I want to bring this up because I, I was born in New England, so I am New England Irish. Yes, that is a thing. Ask anyone in Boston if they're Irish, and if you tell them that they're not, they will probably kick your ass, especially if you're uh, talking to somebody from fucking Southie. Don't fuck with Boston. <laughs> The fuck with New England, basically. There's a reason why that is the highest Irish populated part of the country. Don't fuck with us. But anyway, we're good people. We're just, you know, loyal to who we are. So my mother, a few years ago, went to a yard sale. And she bought me this necklace, and I'm going to show you the uh, front of it first, because this has to do with my uh, um, German side. Um, my grandfather was named Wolfgang, and we always called him Grandpa Wolf. And he was a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful person. Like, between him and my Irish grandfather, I could not have asked for better grandfathers. I really couldn't have. They were just so wonderful. But when she gave it to me, I looked on the back of it, and I saw this. And immediately, my gut told me, that's Celtic, and it's positive. And I immediately got online and tried to find what the fuck it was. But for fucking years, I could not find that fucking symbol until somebody asked me two days ago what Celtic was. And I thought, you know what, I'm just going to show them Celtic symbols and just let them go from there. I looked up Celtic symbols. This finally came up. Okay. 
And I have been told by an ex-fiance of mine that it was something that was supposed to protect me. Like, okay, cool. But I didn't know exactly what it was yet. I'm like, well, that's kind of vague. Like, it's supposed to protect you. Like, great, but what is it? Oh, it's a protection thing. What is it? Well, turns out my mother <laughs> made the find, and, and mind you, we live in Wisconsin right now. And this is German and Swedish territory, and I have nothing against either. I am part German and proud of it, not completely proud of the German past, but I am proud of my German grandfather for fighting against the Nazis, so well done, Grandpa Wolf. And I'm proud of my family for being on the right side of history. And as far as the Swedish thing goes, well, I'm a PewDiePie fan, so hi. But um, also, I have an uncle who married my mother's sister, whose heritage is Swedish. So I have nothing but love and respect for both. But the point of that is to find a Celtic anything, an Irish Celtic anything, anywhere in this town let alone in a yard sale. Like, the odds against it are astronomical. And yet my mother found it. And she immediately gave it to me. And what she found was a Celtic shield meant to protect from evil. That's the definition of the symbol that is on the other side of that necklace. And I'm like, what? And it literally took me until like two days ago to figure that out. And I'm like at a loss for words of how she how she found it, but I'm so glad that she did, and you bet your ass I'm going to be living in it. Because I could use luck. But, yeah, bottom line, I call myself Celtic Dreamer because I identify with my Irish heritage more than anything. And I am insanely proud of it. And I am, above all else, a dreamer. And that's basically it. So if you have any other questions about it, feel free to ask. But that's basically it. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope I cleared some things up for you. And I love you all. Mwah. I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.